All right, uh, let's look at the homework 1.3, uh, problem number six, all right? So uh, we want to find the uh, F plus G, all right? So uh, that's pretty easy. So F is uh, square root of uh, five minus X, and then G is uh, square root of uh, X squared minus four, all right? And domain, so we have to, uh, we want to find the domain of this uh, uh, function f plus g, right? So first, uh, we have to know the domain of each one, right? So in order to find the domain of f, uh, we have to make sure that uh, whatever inside the square root is uh, non-negative. So which means that the 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 0, right? by simply adding x to both sides, we have five is greater than or equal to x. So x has to be less than or equal to five, right? So uh, we know that the uh, domain of f is, uh, let's see, so five is the largest one. So uh, from negative infinity to five, then including five. Right, and how about the g? Uh, same deal. Uh, we have uh, x squared uh, minus four. Right, we want this to be greater than or equal to zero. Right. Uh, so in order to do this one, uh, we have to probably want to do a number line. So first, that uh, we uh, try to solve equality x squared minus four equals zero. Right. This will give us. Uh, factor it out, x uh, plus 2 times quantity x minus 2, All right? So this is equal to 0. So we know that uh, when x equals uh, negative 2 and the positive 2, it's going to be 0, All right? So draw a number line, All right? Then put a tick marks on uh, negative 2 and the positive 2. All right, then you just have to look at the sign of uh, x squared minus 4. All right, so we can try any sample number less than negative 2, so negative 3. All right, so if you plug in negative 3 for x, so uh, negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4, so that's positive. So you have a positive sign here. Anything between negative 2 and 2, uh, we can try probably 0. Right, zero squared minus four is negative four, it's negative, All right? Then uh, we can try anything bigger than two, so we can try three. So three squared minus four is positive, so we have a positive sign here, All right? So we want the greater than or equal to zero, so we want the positive or zero. So it's zero here and zero there, All right? So you can see that uh, it's uh, less than or equal to negative two and uh, greater than or equal to positive 2, right? So we know that uh, uh, d sub g, domain of g, would be uh, negative infinity to 2, uh, negative 2, sorry, and also uh, positive 2 to positive infinity, right? Right, so in order to find the uh, domain of f plus g, we have to make sure that, uh, so domain of f plus g, actually it's the same as domain of uh, f minus g, and the same as domain of f times g, is simply the uh, intersection of uh, domain of f and the domain of uh, g, All right? So let's look at the intersection. So uh, domain of g is uh, less than negative two or uh, greater than positive two, right? And but the domain of f is uh, less than or equal to five. So we have, so if you have five, um, I'm gonna just draw a five here, right? Then we know that, uh, let's see, uh, domain of f is uh, starting from here and down. Right, so you we see an intersection uh, between those two would be between uh, neg uh, two and five, and also uh, less uh, smaller than or equal to negative two. Right, 
So this is going to be uh, negative infinity to negative 2 and also between 2 and 5. All right? So let's type it in. All right? So we have uh, negative uh, infinity, so symbol, symbol uh, infinity to um, negative 2 and then, oops, uh, let's see, Ooh. all right, and the union, so we have to use a set, and the union, and a positive 2 to 5, all right, all right, so these guys are pretty simple, so it's a square root of uh, 5 minus x, so minus x, and then you have plus square root of uh, x squared uh, minus 4 right and remember that domain is exactly the same so I'm gonna put negative infinity so symbol here infinity to negative 2 and uh, then union and um, uh, 2 to 5 right so we have that Oops, I'm missing a bracket there. All right, so we have that. All right, uh, f times g, so you can just multiply. So you have a square root of. All right, we can put the, put the both of them inside the same square root. So we can just do this. All right, x squared minus four. All right, and the domain is exactly the same again. So it's a negative infinity. Uh, infinity uh, to a negative 2 and square bracket and then we have a union and uh, 2 to 5 right and uh, let's see I have to give it that and uh, oops that like that oops there's the square bracket there All right so that's that All right and the uh, division, so it's divided by uh, g, uh, okay, so we just have to have uh, square root. Actually, we can put uh, everything in the same, uh, uh, under the same uh, square root. So we can do, um, let's see, 5 minus x. Then we can uh, divide the whole thing by uh, x squared minus 4, right? And the domain of the function is going to be, all right, so here's the thing. Uh, we do not want the denominator to be zero. So denominator is g of x, so this guy. So we, we have to eliminate negative two and the positive two. So it's going to be uh, negative infinity, negative, uh, so symbol uh, infinity, to uh, negative two, but excluding negative two. And then uh, we have uh, excluding 2, and then go all the way to 5. But 5 is included, right? So that's that, right? So we're just eliminating positive 2 and negative 2 from the, uh, the domain here, right? So let's uh, submit for testing. All right, it came back. And, oh, actually, I, I forgot. Uh, I messed it up here. So it's a minus sign there. And uh, but everything else uh, looks good, so let's double check again. All right, uh, I came back and uh, looks like uh, we got the, all, all these uh, ones correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.